What's going on guys? It's Morton here. Um, this video is a little bit different. Um, I'm actually using this video as a way to test my GoPro and it looks like from the camera the wide angle is too long for this so it looks like I gotta stick the old ways of filming indoors anyway. Um, but what this video is is it's three psychics are hired and put to the test at a chocolate factory and uh, well you just have to see I guess I mean I hope you guys will like this video I've had this video for a long time I've just not done anything with it because there's nothing really I can do with it um, so I hope you guys will enjoy this video um, if you guys know paranormal truth maybe you'll actually recognize somebody from this video in there um, yeah so I hope you guys will enjoy this video I hope it gives you guys some laughs because it's really cringy it's like really so damn bad um, not the actual video itself the psychics are so damn bad. Uh, so I hope you guys will enjoy this video. And as always, don't forget to like the video, share the video with all your family and friends, and subscribe. Every Monday I post some sort of new video dealing with the paranormal. So I guess I will see you guys next time. Hope you enjoy. I've enlisted the help of Dr. Kieran O'Keefe. Hi, Kieran. I'm Danny. Hi, Danny. Hello. A parapsychologist who spent 15 years Hunting the ghost hunters. Fake history. Forget science for a minute. Okay. You as an ordinary bloke. Yeah. Are there any genuine mediums? Do you believe in it at all? I'm open-minded to the possibility. I haven't come across a genuine medium. Because I want to know, beyond any doubt, if my three mediums are prepared to cheat. So, I've got Kieran to write me a fake history, which I've printed onto official-looking chocolate factory pamphlets. The story has also spent the past week posted on the theatre's website. And... I've even hung a picture in the foyer of the factory's fictitious first manager, the fat, aggressive and ruthless George Bull. Actually, he was maimed, he had his legs cut off in an accident. He was supervising a delivery here at the chocolate factory and getting very impatient at the delivery man, took the last crate, threw it on the floor, the resounding crash, and that startled the horses that they ran off and the cart basically rolled over his legs and also killed him in the process. Earlier, I invited three mediums to a one-time Victorian chocolate factory where they all channeled the name George, an evil fat man who was the factory's first manager. She's given me the name of George. And I've got the name George. It's really George. It was George. Yeah, yeah. The only trouble is that George is part of a made-up story that I planted on the chocolate factory website a week ago. I feel like he was quite angry about something as well. I think they might be cheating, and I'm curious to see if they'll repeat any more of my fake history. Oh, Will they give me more bull in the form of George's made-up surname? And what of the terrible accident when he lost both legs to a pair of stampeding cart horses in the factory loading bay? Oh, this one, it's very busy down here, very, very busy. I feel like I'm on a race course here, watching the horses going up and, and down. And lots of horses? Yeah, okay. watching the horses going up and down. Because the horses are, are, are not very settled, they're moving about. So he may have got kicked by a horse. He went down. It was the horse that put him down in some way. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure about that. I, I think to really get to the bottom of this, it, it would be great if you could go into a trance. I mean, OK, I could probably go into a semi-trance, but not a full trance. George, did the horses hurt your legs, yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> Astonishingly, Goldie has actually summoned the ghost of my made-up factory manager. Her deception is almost complete. Oh. You okay, Goldie? Oh, sorry. You okay? Yeah, I think so. What I'd be really interested to get out of this is, is some surnames, if possible, to try and um, kind of pinpoint these people. Okay, she's uh, giving me bull, um, dog, that? bull, dog. Bull. So what's his name? I've got George and I've got Bull. Goldie's definitely researched my internet story. Kevin, on the other hand, seems to be relying solely on squeezing me for information. Can you get a surname for George at all? Surname doesn't begin with G, does it? No. So, I've decided to show him the fake manager's portrait I planted earlier that conveniently has a name plaque, George Bull. George. 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 You getting a name coming from? 
Do you know his, his, the, the initials of his second name? Mm -hmm. Was it B? Yeah. Was it Ball? It was. Mm, that's what I got. Is that the guy yeah. that you've been telling? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you sure? Yeah, positive. 100%? Yeah, 101%. 101%? Mm. That is very certain. Without any help from me, Philip has already identified a fat, angry manager called George who had an accident. And I'm curious to see if he's prepared to confirm the details contained in my fake history leaflet. You seem pretty sure that the George you got is this guy, George Bull. Yeah, I'm sure. But as I said, if we can get an earlier picture of him, it might confirm it even more. But in your heart, you're sure? Yeah. And it felt like the owner of the place when I linked in with mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. And the description feels, because I felt quite big. Philip, can I tell you something? Go on. This history here is entirely made up. <laughs> and um, that picture is just a random picture we found, and we stuck a little name tag on it uh, that's made up. Uh, George Bull is an entirely made up name. OK. We chose the surname Bull for a reason. It's all entirely made up. OK, load of bullshit. Okay. I want to break the news to Goldie, but she's done such a good job of retelling my fake story. I've decided to put on a special treat for her. A reenactment of George Ball's tragic accident. Is he okay? <laughs> Are they picking my horses? Help! Get out! Help! 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 Oh, 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 Goldie, is that, is that pretty much what you saw out here? Over there, yeah. You're in the wrong place. Is that what it was like, though? Yeah. It was more down the bottom legs, though. Goldie, can I tell you something? Yes, sir. Um, you, all the things that you channeled today, like, you know, George Bull, the American manager... Yeah, uh, you're going to tell me that he's got nothing to do with it. Well, um, <laughs> I have to tell you, it, it, that all came from a story that I made up. Oh, did it? With the help of uh, a parapsychologist. <gasps> and, and we put that you up put on, it, the, yeah, no. on the website. Congratulations. And, and did you read that website? No. So how, how did you know all these facts? And... Um, a friend of a friend. But, uh, I mean, are you still pretty certain about the George Bull thing? I am, yeah. I'll be honest, um, I chose the name Bull for a reason. Because it's shit. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm psychic. Um, I knew that. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if you have to be psychic to work that out. Kevin clearly didn't research my story, but he's been happy to pump me for information and has confirmed the identity of the fictional George Bull. But will he be able to spot George's killers? Do you think you'd recognise these horses if you saw them? I probably would, yes, I would do. K Kevin... Where are they? Is that the horse? Yes, that's the horse. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Or is it that one? No, it's, it's neither of them. Go on. Kevin, can I tell you something? Yeah. This history that we've got here, mm. um, is all made up. That's made up, you sure? Yeah. You're positive? Yeah, I got someone to write that. Check it. I got someone to write that and then mm. put that on the Chocolate Factory website. So where did I get ball, f ball from there? Well, I, I think probably That's from the name know. plaque, on it? But... I didn't see the name plaque. Mm -hmm. I can't see it, because I need glasses. Yeah, yeah. You've also got to remember that when mediums link telepathically with the mind of spirit, we also link with your mind. So if you've got this information running through your mind, I could pick it up from you as well. So it's my this, fault. No, no, I'm not saying it's your fault. I'm just saying that everything happens for a reason, and maybe this is a lesson for me as well. Okay. Well, I guess it's a lesson for us all. Yeah. You basically retold the whole story yeah. that we wrote. My guy told me before I came here that I was going to be tested, and I said, fine, then we'll test one another. So does that mean that you cheated? I did. For most of it. Do you think what you've done tonight will make people believe more in psychics or less? Less. Oh, no, more. How much truth did we get tonight? You probably got about 30%, I think, Yeah. Yeah. A bit about it being called the chocolate factory. I don't think it was ever a chocolate factory. That's the one thing it was, Goldie, I'm afraid. <laughs> it was a chocolate factory. Was it? Yeah, you see, you've even got the truth wrong. Yeah, I know. Thank you. I'm going to get out of my costume now. Well, you look good. I'd stay in it if I were you. I feel a bit silly, to be honest. I'd stay in it if I were you. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you, Kevin. So it's a pleasure. Okay. Good luck. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Oh, please. Oh, please.
Oh, see you later, Bye. Okay, well, thanks, Philip. You're very welcome. Bye. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Well, I think all our mediums were really good. Good at doing research, good at telling stories, and good at repeating everything I said. What they weren't so good at was contacting spirits. And whatever you think about ghost hunting, you cannot get away from the fact that all our mediums contacted a ghost that we entirely made up. <laughs>